Here's loads of quick modeling tips that will help you make low poly rocks and much more. First of all, delete the default cube. So I'll select it, press delete. And I'm going to add in mesh and an icosphere. Now with the dialog box down the bottom here, let's open that up and change it to one subdivision. See what happens to my icosphere in the middle? It reduces the poly count. Now let's zoom in. I'll scale it in the Z so it's going to be a long rock like this. Into edit mode with tab, or that's edit mode up here. And there's two commands you need to learn. The first is to bevel vertices. So I'll select a vertex. And normally to bevel, you hold down control and press B. And if I move my mouse side to side, it's not working. But if I press V now, I get my bevel. So I'll left click and set that in place. And you can see in the bevel commands, it's affecting the vertices and not the edges. I'll do that once more because there's a quick way to do it. If I select this one down here, I can press control shift B and that will do the same thing. The next important command is the edge slide. So I can select one of these vertices and press GG to edge slide it to another one. However, in order to merge these together, if I press GG again, you can see it's not actually merged. To merge them together, we need to press this button up here, which is auto merge vertices. Now when I press GG to edge slide, they're both together. So I can start edge sliding these across into different places and we're getting an interesting looking rock. So I'll do that around my rock. Certainly I want to do the top and bottom, that stops it from being pointy and just merge them into each other. Now we've got what looks to be a bit of a rubbish rock at the moment, and we've got these problem faces here. So it certainly needs a bit of tidying up and a little bit more artistic flair. We don't really want any dents like this, so I can just select this one and GG to slide it down. But then that's far too far and we've got all these problems. So you need to think about which one you're sliding to. So this one over here would make sense, but then we've got this dent here. I'll undo that. So what we may need to do is select from here and shift select this one and press J to join and that will fill it in and we won't have any problems. We've got a similar problem with this one here. So I could go from here to here maybe and J to join. And you can see we're slowly building up an interesting shape. And if you've got an area like this and you think that's not quite working, just slide it into another one and it squares it off and does a nice job. And already if I zoom out, we're getting a fairly interesting low poly rock. I'll just do a few more to give it more character. The last command that you might like is the beveling edges. So if I go to edge mode now with two, or that's edge mode up here, I can select an edge and control B to bevel the whole edge. If I go back to object mode, you can see that edge doesn't quite work, but if I go back into edit mode and select all the vertices at one end and press M to merge and then merge at center, back into object mode, we've got quite an interesting line across our low poly rock there, which can work quite well. So just a little bit more editing, I'll just slide these about to round the shape off. And that is how we make stylized low poly rocks.